everyone, Heather here, and I've had lots of questions about hair care and hair styling, especially for women of a certain age, and I've got a newfangled kind of straightener for your hair. I also just bought myself a new curling iron for those loose curls, and uh, I'm going to talk about everything, especially those frizzies that we get. Can't wait to show this video to you. It all starts in just a few seconds. So I'm going to show you lots of steps in this video, but let's start with step one. Let's pretend that I just stepped out of the shower and I just washed my hair. Okay, for about seven years now, I have been using an award-winning product and it's from Davines. I'm using the New New Shampoo and also the New New Conditioner as well. And what I usually do is I buy it in these big containers, that's why those ones look a little tattered, and um, there again is the shampoo, and this is also the conditioner, and I just kind of fill up those containers. Now, a word about uh, Davines products, especially the Nudu shampoo and conditioner, they're award winners. Uh, they have been award winners with Allure magazine, and also with InStyle magazine, and uh, I just find they're just... They're just a wonderful, wonderful product. Now, another thing about this product, um, it's a lot of natural ingredients, and theres I don't think there's any sulfates in it, so it's not gonna foam up a lot and strip your hair of your natural oils, but uh, there's a little bit of foam in it. Also, as you probably know, I have uh, silver slash gray hair, and every four washings, well, let me just make sure I got this right here, um, my hairstylist has suggested that I use the Davines Purple Shampoo, and it really is purple. I'll just give you a little bit of a, a look-see here. And what that does is it really helps to uh, maintain the silvery essence or the gray essence of my hair, so absolutely love that but only every four washings so I really have to tell you that if you really upgrade your shampoo and your conditioner like these Davines products um, they're not like a detergent and they really really help to maintain the softness and the silkiness and uh, this isn't even a sponsored video I just love them so much so anyway by the way I'm going to have links below um, for both the larger and the smaller uh, Davines products plus all of the styling products that I'm about to mention as well. So I used to towel dry my hair and a lot of you that saw that video a long long time ago went no don't do that uh, I should be wrapping my hair in a t-shirt or maybe one of those microfiber turbans and I got one of those microfiber turbans right here and all I do now is I just kind of push my hair back put this on the top here and then I wrap my hair around, we just get them all wrapped up here, and put it inside this part here, and let the microfibers do all the work, and there's a little gizmo here to tie it up, and I'm not doing the fanciest job, but you kind of get the drift. And then I just let it kind of sit and I probably put this on just for a bit of an, maybe an hour and then I'm just going to um, let it kind of absorb a lot of the excess water. But let's pretend that a whole hour went by right now. Now I'm just going to loosen it up, shake my hair out, and if I want to just not do anything with it, I'm just going to do a little bit of, of this and let it air dry. So just before I let it completely air dry, you can see it's kind of half and half right now. And my hair gets really frizzy. So I'm going to use the secret weapon, which is the John Frieda secret weapon anti-frizz product. And basically I just put um, a little squirt, about that much, on my hand here. Kind of rub it in. Again, don't put it on your scalp, okay? Just, you don't want to have all that build up on your scalp or your roots. And I just gonna put it where it needs it, really, and kind of scrunch it in. And it also helps my natural curls to come out a little bit if that's indeed what I want to do for the day. But uh, yeah, that's a real magic trick to keep those frizzies away. 
So one of the reasons why I'm talking about, you know, not getting all kinds of product into your scalp and into your roots is because these days I just wash my hair about once a week and I'd like to know how many of you are only washing your hair about once a week. You know, I find that it's just leaving the natural oil in it and it's not as frizzy, it's not as there's not as much breakage. So the other thing that I do um, when I am washing my hair, I'm usually washing my hair after dinner. And the reason for that is again, I'm letting it air dry, but also a very important part of that is that um, if I sleep on wet hair, I get a headache. And I was just wondering how many of you have discovered that you get a headache if you sleep on wet hair. So, uh, oh, by the way, if you are enjoying some of these tips and things for women of a certain age, don't forget to subscribe and also click on that bell so you'll be notified when the videos are out. So by morning after I've slept in my hair it's usually a bit of a mess but I'm going to show you three different ways that I can style my hair and starting off with the most natural way and that is I just sort of dampen it again so that it's just a little bit damp and I'm using a product like this it's Mark Anthony Strictly Curls. I used to use a mousse but uh, I found the mousse really I did get a lot of usage out of it because it really clogged up um, but this is more like a little cream here and uh, I'm just going to show you I just use a bit of that with the dampened hair rub it in and let me just show you a little video here of me actually there's what it looks like on my hands by the way uh, kind of doing the scrunch kind of uh, look with my hair roll it again I put about um, just about a teaspoon of that on my hand and I just kind of mix it together and I start the scrunching and I just kind of scrunch and scrunch and my naturally curly hair just instantly kind of appears and I've got a really smooth, really smooth look there. So let's pretend for a little bit of a change that I want to straighten my hair or use a curling iron and have those really soft kind of curls. Well, what I have to do, usually when I wake up, my hair kind of looks like this. And what I need to do is I use the John Frieda Frizzies. This is a serum. And I put a couple of squirts on my hand like this and I rub it in my hands. And again, it's very, very oily. Uh, and make sure that you don't put it on your roots and your scalp. So what I'm going to do is just kind of put it into my hair like this, around the sides here, maybe a little bit on the bangs. Um, and just sort of work it also into the ends of my hair because that's where it looks a little bit dry and you're going to need a tissue to wipe up all the excess oil. Alright, so let's say today I want to straighten my hair. Alright, so what I've got to do is kind of just brush it out a little bit and you can see it's almost straightening with that serum on it already. And uh, now I'm going to introduce my new fangled straightener and it's a brush straightener, which is really, really handy and uh, just heat it up. And then what you do is you just kind of brush through your hair. And the nice thing is you're just, you're not using a flat iron, so it's not really, is look at the shine that I'm getting from there too. So it's not really kind of burning your hair. You're just doing the regular kind of brush strokes. And also what I like to do, since my cut has a little bit of a, a layering here, I also like to sort of straighten it a bit like that. So I'm just going to do a little bit on this side of my hair for the sake of time. And I will be linking uh, these kind of products, uh, including the curling iron below for you. But take a look of how that's straightening that curly hair that I have. And uh, isn't that beautiful, the way that it works? All right, so again, for the sake of time, I'm just gonna kind of finish off here. And then I always kind of flip my hair to the side, but um, yeah, I like it. So here's how my hair looks with the straightening and notice the layers are there. I also use um, a teasing comb to just give it a little bit of height on the top. Now I showed you how um, I was, I had my curly hair, my naturally curly hair, but these days, I don't know if you're noticing, but there's a lot of these really loose curls that are out and about and trending in fashion. So 
I got myself a new curling iron. Woohoo! And I'm going to talk about this in a second. And it really helps to make those gentle, gentle curls. And also, you know, maybe these days you're not seeing the hairstylist as much. You're not getting the cuts. And, uh, you know, it might be a good idea to maybe start playing around with your hair. Maybe you have a bob to here. Well, you can definitely still do the loose curls, no matter even if your hair is straight. And uh, hey, if you're like me and you're thinking about or already have grown out your gray hair or your silver hair, well I did a video on that and all you have to do is on the end screen of this video just click on the link and I'll show you some of the steps that I went through for it. But let's talk about this curling iron. Alright, so back to the curling iron. And this curling iron, I really kind of studied what they had at, um, I got it on Amazon. And this one is Nishin, I think it's pronounced, and it's um, one and a quarter round, which is great for those loose curls, and it's got this little clippy thing on it as well. Also, it's uh, titanium and ceramic as far as the heating um, part of it is. And also, what I really kind of liked about this was it came with uh, kind of like a lot of styling. I don't know if you can, whoops, <laughs> I don't know if you can see all of this, but you've got like a glove, you know, so you don't burn yourself. You've got some great clips. It's like going to the salon in a way, and even a comb, and it all comes together in a little package there. Now uh, for me they have in the instructions all different things that you need to do as far as the heating of the um, elements and you just sort of turn this around. I don't know if you can see that there but um, you know it, it tells you what the degrees is and for me I'm finding sometimes 375 but for, for this one I'm going to do it at 340 so I really don't burn my hair but uh, let's get to the application and I'll so <laughs> I'll show you how it works. All right, so using the comb that uh, they give with you, for this I'm just going to put my hair back and use one of these fancy dancy clips that was included with it. I'll just pull it back there. And let's just say that, uh, sorry, I'm going to be looking in the mirror a little bit for this because I don't want to burn my face or anything, but uh, I'll take a little strand of hair. You might even want to take it a little less than that. Let's just go a little less than that. Um, brush it out. And then a lot of the curls these days are outwards. They're not inwards, they're outwards. So let's try that a little bit. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clamp and I'm going to clamp the end of the hair and then roll it. By the way, this is all on a swivel too, so it won't get all messed up the cord. Um, and I'm just going to clamp it on the hair like that. And then I'm just going to twist. Oops. <laughs> all right, take two, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. I'm just going to keep rolling, Bill. Um, okay, so we want to go on the outside here like this. Get this like that. And around we go. You're supposed to kind of roll it downwards. And then I would just hold it for about five seconds. That's all. I've got this on 340. And we've got a little bit of a curl there. All right, so um, maybe I could have held it a little bit longer, but I will tell you, if I just kept on going, I don't want to have it really tight curls up to you know my uh, scalp here. So if I just keep on going like this, I'm going to have a really nice look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do a presto change-o. For the sake of time, again, I'm going to do all my hair and show you how I look. All right, so I uh, finished doing my hair and uh, in these soft, gentle curls. Now they're just going to fall. I know they're going to fall. So I've got to put some hairspray on them. And this is called Schwarzkopf. And it's uh, Ultimate Time. And that's the kind that I use. It's non-aerosol. And all I have to do is just, I just want to spray them. And then just kind of put them back into their little curls again. Again, it's a very soft, soft look, and uh, the size of the curling iron, again, is one and a quarter inches to have more or less those kind of, um, you know, soft, wavy kind of curls. Now, I like this. I think it's fun. I just want to do a little, again, not on your scalp with this. 
Um, I want to do a little bit on the ends and just make sure that, you know, there's still, I'd probably be in my house coat, not wearing my good clothes in this, but, uh, or my robe, but there you go. It's just nice and gentle. Now, if I wanted to do it a little bit wavy, watch this. I just flip my head like that. And I've got more of a wavier look and I think that's quite pretty as well. So these days, why not have a little bit of fun with your hair? Like, even if you're just going on those Zoom meetings, but I was looking in a lot of the stores and I was noticing that hair bands are coming back in a, in a big way, especially the kind of puffy ones. Great for hiding your coloring roots and that sort of thing. But if you are letting your hair grow out into a silver or a gray, you can have lots of fun with that as well. And by the way, I'm on Instagram and all you have to do is look up Awesome Over 50 and there's a lot of other silver sisters there and gray hair don't care, long hair don't care. Hey, you know what? There's a real hair movement. <laughs> and someone who just did some great things with his hair is our little Hurricane, <laughs> little Yorkie Hurricane. Hey, Hurricane. And Hurricane has what is called the poppy cut. And doesn't he look extremely, hey, get your hand out of there. <laughs> doesn't he look extremely handsome with his little puppy cut? And uh, he's here to remind me that of what the videos are that are coming up. And I have more fashion ones for you, some styling videos. And also, what about getting glammed up? So even for those Zoom meetings, we could get glammed up just a little bit. So I can't wait to show you the future videos. You know, sometimes it's good to remember when we were young girls and we used to tie up our, our hair in ribbons and bows and kind of, remember when you used to brush your hair a hundred strokes every day? I remember doing that as well. But it doesn't matter whether you have a pixie cut, whether you've let your hair grow long, whether you have gray hair, silver hair, or maybe it's just a beautiful, authentically you purple. Just don't let anybody tell you how you should be wearing your hair. There's no age limit to long hair or, you know, purple hair. Whatever you want to do, be authentically you. Remember to change it up, have some fun, and keep it awesome.